In this video you will learn how to implement two-way data binding and why do we need ng model inside Angular. So the first question is what is the difference between one-way data binding and two-way data binding? And actually if we will just write here an input, type text and we want to provide here a value that we have inside our TypeScript component. So typically here we write attribute value and inside we are providing for example search value. And now here I will close this input. Now what we need to do, we need to create inside our app component this search value and we can set it for example to string initial value. As you can see in browser we have an input and here is the value. Which actually means we implemented one way data binding. Why it is one way? Because we have our value inside our component and here inside HTML inside DOM we rendered this value from the component. But typically you want to add the binding in another direction. This is why here we can apply an event, for example key up, and here we want to call a function search value change. And inside we want to provide our event. Now let's create this function inside our component. So here we have search value change and inside we are getting an event of type event. But in order to read the value from our event target value, we need to set correct TypeScript type. So we can create here our value and here we can say that event.target is actually as type HTML input element. And this is exactly what it is. And here afterwards we can write dot value and now TypeScript won't say anything. After this we will typically change our set value that we have inside the component just by assigning our value. Let's check this out, here is our initial value and now I am typing something here and actually we are changing our value. But we don't see it, this is why I want to render it after our input. So here I will simply render our search value from the component. And as you can see we are changing our input and our value inside component is also changed. This is exactly two way data binding. One way is to read the component inside our DOM and secondly is to give a value from our DOM to our component. And actually in most cases you will see inside code exactly this construction. This is super low level but you can really configure it and change how you want. Because here we are reading a value and we have our event. It can be key up, key down, click, whatever you need. But additionally to that we have ngModel attribute inside Angular. And we can write here input type text. And here we can write square brackets, round brackets inside and we write ngModel assign and here will be our search value. And let's compare it with the previous example. I am reloading the page and we are getting directly our input with initial value. How it is happening? This is ng model, which means two way data binding to this search value property. Which actually means ng model implements together value change in both directions, which means it is two way data binding. But actually just for you to know, this ng model with this strange notation like square brackets, round brackets, we can write it differently. And this is exactly how it is transformed by Angular. So here we can write input type text and here we can write ng model just like an attribute and we are setting here our search value and after this we can write here an event ng model change and here we are assigning model value change and we are providing inside dollar event. But actually this model value change is something that we must implement ourselves. This is why here we can create a function and we are getting here a value as a string and we simply need to reassign our search value. So our search value equals our value. And then this code is exactly the same like this code on the top. Let's check this out. Here is our input with initial value and we can change it. And as you can see it is changed inside our component. But actually as I already said we are not using ngModel that often. Where ngModel really shines and why it was created is to create forms inside Angular by using template forms. 
and if you don't know inside Angular, we can write template forms and reactive forms. And actually the better approach would be to write reactive forms in a RixJS way, this is exactly what you need to use inside Angular. But previously, in order to migrate easier from AngularJS, which was initially Angular 1, to Angular 2, which we have nowadays, we get template forms. And you still can use them, but actually they are quite limited, because you are writing the whole template and the whole form inside your template. You don't create and configure it inside your component. So actually here we can write our form with ng model inside. For this we can create just a form tag. And inside here we must create a reference to our form. So here I will name it search template form. And here we can assign inside ng form. And after this we need ng submit callback when we are submitting our form. And here we can just call on search submit. And as you can see I am not providing any values inside because they are already updated. Why is that? Because here we will use ng model. So here we can write input type text and we are using here ng model. So square brackets, round brackets, then ng model inside and I am assigning here search form dot for example search value. But actually we don't have search form at all. This is why here we must jump inside our component and create this form. And actually it is not a form at all, this is just an object where we are changing values. This is why here we can create our search form. And this is just an object with search value inside. And we can assign here our initial value. Now this ng model search form dot value is binded to this property inside our search form. And the last thing here is to provide a name, which will be our search value. After this we also need a button to submit our form. So button type submit, and here let's disable it. So if our form is invalid, then we will disable it. And for this we can write not, and here we are getting a reference to our search template form dot valid. So actually if this form is not valid, then we are disabling this button. Now here let's close this button and write inside submit. But we also must create on search submit function inside our app component. So this is just a function without any arguments and we can write console log inside for on search submit. Let's check if it's working now. I am jumping to the console and we are getting an error type event is not assignable to type string. And actually this is super confusing and this is not our problem. Our problem is that we didn't inject our forms module for template forms inside our app module. So we can jump here and now inside our imports we can inject forms module. I am just saving it and as you can see our errors are gone. Now we can jump inside browser and we see our form. So this initial value is now a value inside our form. We can change it. As you can see it is not synchronized with our search value. This is this specific form object. Now we are hitting submit and as you can see we are inside on search submit and we can just console our value which is this search form. As you can see here we are getting the object with search value. But the main point is that this ng model simply synchronizes the value through two-way data binding inside this object with this property. It has nothing to do with the form itself. And the whole form is written here inside template. And actually this is not super flexible, this is why I highly recommend for you to use reactive forms inside Angular when you need them. This is why if you are interested to know how to build reactive forms inside Angular, make sure to check this video also.